Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to fetch an element when its attributes are changing frequently. Let me give you an example for this. So I'll open a browser and uh, I'll just open this in incognito mode. And uh, here I'll access this facebook.com application. And there's a button here, as you can see, Let's say there is a login button here. I would like to find this button or locate this button. Okay. With the help of XPath expressions, I would like to locate this button. So I'll inspect this button. So when I inspect this button, this is HTML code of the button and it has an ID. I'll copy this ID and create an XPath expression out of it. Double slash button at the rate ID is equal to like this. Okay. You see this XPath expression is able to locate this button, but the moment when I refresh this page, Okay, and inspect this button again. You see that the ID attribute value got changed. Earlier, the ID attribute value was u underscore 0 underscore 5 underscore 3 n, but now it is u underscore 0 underscore 5 underscore bt. This last three, last two characters got changed. Here 3 n is there, here bt is there. Again, if I refresh, it will change again. You see, mb is coming in the ending. Okay, so this value is not constant, it's changing, right? Some portion of this attribute value is changing. So how to locate this button when I'm recording this, uh, I mean, when I'm, uh, you know, locating this button now, that's fine. But when I refresh this page, uh, again, when I come back to this page later point of time, the ID is a different ID. Some portion of this ID is a different ID. Then how to overcome such kind of problems? So the question is all about that. How to fetch or locate an element when its attribute values are changing frequently here, here this login buttons, ID attribute value is changing, but still with the help of ID attribute value, I would like to locate this button. Then how it is possible? For that in XPath expressions or in XPath, we have some methods. In XPath, we have some methods known as contains and starts with. We can use these methods, okay? So here, let's use contains for now. So here, whatever the value that is not changing, u underscore zero underscore five, this part is not changing and still underscore it's not, last two letters are changing. So what I will do here is, here I'll say, instead of this part, I'll remove this and say contains, xpath contains function I'll use. And inside the contains, first one, I'll give at the rate ID, comma, in single quotes, okay, in single quotes, I have to give the value which is not changing. That is a uh, u underscore, u underscore, zero underscore, five underscore, okay? So the constant value which is not changing, whatever the value that is changing, the last two letters are changing, right? So I, I will not provide that, okay? So here contains function I have used, okay? This particular value, if it is uh, there in any part of this ID attribute value, okay? Then it will be locating, this XPath expression will work. Not only this, you can also use starts with, starts hyphen with, because this u underscore zero underscore phi underscore is a starting part and this is the ending part. So you can also, apart from contains, you can also use starts with, press enter, you see, still locating. So these are the two ways in XPath, uh, we have some XPath methods or functions. One of the method is uh, our function is contains, another one is starts with using which we can locate an element whose attributes values are changing frequently. Okay, any of these functions we can use to locate the, okay, element or find the element whose attribute values are changing frequently. In this, this is an example of the login, login button on the Facebook page, which whose at ID attributes value is changing. The last two letters are changing. Still, you should be able to locate this button by only providing the constant value, which is not changing, okay, by either using contains or starts with. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.